So now you can see, as you see, we just cut the exhaust on the bottom. Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of We Rebuilds. So today, hey, from the last episode, you already see, see that we took the engine out all the disc parts, all the disc car that we're fixing because this has a clean title. This is the one that we got for free. This one over here is the one that we got from the auction has 78,000 miles. So we're trying to take the motor out of this one. The interior is done as you can see from the last video. So now this video, we're just trying to hop straight into this one. We already pulled the front radiators off and stuff like that um, earlier on in the video. We didn't record it because we already showed y'all in the previous video with this car. So now we're just going to try to hop into it. So I'm just going to show you, give you a quick little rundown of what we're going to have, what we have going on, and what we're about to do, and so we can make it way easier for us. But like, share, subscribe, hit that, hit that um subscribe button, like, share, comment, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Hey, share, keep sharing, keep posting. Um, check us out on Instagram, check us out on Twitter. Hey, we got, we're, we're, we're keep going, we're growing, okay? So let's hop into this video. So as you can see from this one, we already pulled everything, the motor and everything out, but we have all the wiring harnesses, the wiring harness right here for the engine and transmission. But for this one now, all we're gonna do, since everything is already hooked up properly, we're just gonna leave it just like this and see if we could just pull, lift the, the, in, the engine out once we remove this engine mount and that one over there, and then we have the one underneath. So what we're gonna do is, just remove the wiring harness from right here that does it runs straight to the engine and transmission and then the other wiring harness that runs inside it this fuse box right here and then once we pull all of that all we're just going to do is just bring it over and then just remove this wiring harness from this computer and once we do that we just plug the new wiring harness from that engine and transmission in here and then basically bolt down everything and get it started and as you can see the sun is right there playing but we changed over the whole interior, so now it doesn't have the cream interior anymore. But what I should have done was change these seat, belt, seat belts or let them stay. We could probably just clean them up a little bit so it could just ma match the headliner because it's also cream. But I love how the, the black interior looks with the car. So, and then later on, once we're done, we're gonna detail it. So one of my buddies have all the detail kit so we could get that done. But let's keep going and let's keep working. We gotta pull this thing up and take the battery out. So the engine mount that's on the bottom is already already removed. Because as I can show you on this one, on the on the other one, on the other car, the engine mount right here has already been removed. So now, as you can see, well he's under there, so I don't want to shake it too much. But you can see that the engine and transmission can rock from rock, rock up and down. So now we know that hey. So once we take the whole battery harness, the battery from right here, we could remove the four bolts that are holding this engine mount over here. And then we're gonna remove these two bolts right here that holds this engine mount in. And then we're just gonna remove all the hoses and stuff from the back. So you're gonna see more in depth of those hoses that we gotta remove because we gotta record everything. So once we removed all these hoses and we put it on this car, we wanna make sure we put it right back together. So. We don't forget it and we're recording it so we could re-watch the video also so since the exhaust is rusted we're just gonna cut the muffler and see and then just pull everything straight out
So we just cut the exhaust from the bottom. So now we're gonna remove these grounding points. So once we remove these grounding points, they run all the way here and then we're gonna disconnect this connector right here. These are the gas hoses. So we're gonna, we already removed this clip. We just need to pull it up. And then this other one back here, we gotta loosen it and, and swing it around. These hoses, I'm gonna try to either disconnect them from back there or I just disconnect them right here and then just get it easy and then we could just put it up from pull it from the other one we already disconnect the the freon hoses for the ac so now the only thing is left we already tied up here this here so we're just gonna basically loosen up the engine mounts right here and right here so once we do all of that we should be able to lift it out so this piece is gonna still stay in because on the other car we already have it over here so as you can see you have that but we have all these hoses so we just pull them on from from this piece instead and then just keep the keep everything moving so let's go let's talking So I'll just remove this, this this connector right here, and then these two connectors that's in that that's inside. So this one that has the orange inside is the first one. And let me see the second one has the same orange. Hopefully, I'll probably use something to mark them so I don't get them mixed up. So I don't get them mixed up. So in order to move this fuel line that's right here we have to remove these bolts from the spark plug, the coils for the spark plugs. And these are right here, are seven, and these all around with the spark plug. And here, or is, is eight to, to remove them. Because when you lift this, there's a washer, there's a clamp that's holding the fuel line. So once we lift this whole thing up, and then we t we could move the clamp with the fuel line, and then we could get the whole engine out and just remove it. Let's keep going. So in order to remove this line, this gas line that's right here, in order to remove this washer, you have to use a, a 532 um, socket, and then that should be able to just put it on top of here. Yes. Hold on. So all you just you just put put it over on top of the screw, and then basically you just twist it, and it comes right out. So once it comes out, then we can put the other line off. But you have to take this whole thing off too and remove the spark plugs, um, the coils for the spark plugs. But you should be good. And then that's how we could put the the one on this car on it. Let's keep moving. So now we just got the engine out out of the parts car so now we're gonna have to put it in here but that's probably gonna be on the next video but now we'll probably just maybe need a this one i'm gonna let it stay in but this one on the on this side we're gonna probably just uh take it out so we can put the one on this car on it and then so we're good to go and keep and keep going so as y'all can see the engine is finally removed out of the parts car so now, we, we got most of everything that we need, the engine is kind of switching off this. The only thing is left is to just change this side out on the other side since that side came out. I'll probably just let this one stay and just take the other parts off the other car, the other engine block and everything else that I need. But so far, we got the engine done, it's finally out. So, it's been a lot of, a lot of work today. We've been on, on this since 12 o'clock today, it's 5.07 right now. So we've been on it for like five hours but hey like share subscribe drop your comments and thoughts down below turn your post notifications on hey check out our instagram page check out our twitter page 
Hey, and don't forget to grab yourself some merch. Check out wbbills.com. It's only right, baby. Until next time, stay by you mad. I got a bad bro. Name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go on, run it back. You know that I run it. Everything you wanna do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. You know? I said, uh, I said, damn, it's gonna be a long night. Women, if I want them, then I tell them Don't get fly for these women I was born with these propellers All my haters cannot beat me So I call them my capellas See, I'm only getting better You won't get jealous You know that I run it Everything you wanna do, I already done it And I got your little boo Telling me she love me I got this one, that one Damn, it's gonna be a long night, 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 night.